Hey everybody, it's me, Clarence. I'm kind of thinking about doing a little bit of an update, at least that's what this is, and um, what I've been thinking about lately is I've been wanting one of those stands. You know, like, it's me, Morpheus, and stuff like that, he has this little stand, it's an X stand, and it's just in the shape of an X, and it's got a little bit of stand, you put your MacBook on it, and it kind of slants it, and puts it in a position that's at eye level. And as you can tell, as you're probably watching this video, is that at your, this Mac right now that I'm on is actually at eye level. And I didn't want to spend a good $80, $50 to $80 on a stand. And so I started looking around my house. And the first thing that came to my mind was, in my refurbished MacBook box, there was actually these two little styrofoam panels that held my MacBook in place in the middle. There's one on this side and one on the other, and then my MacBook was in between it. And I was like, I wonder if that would work if you put them together as a stand. And I thought, you know, why not make something homemade that doesn't look tacky, which this doesn't. I'll show you a picture in a little bit. And works. And it's soft. See, that's the thing. So I took those two things and I put them together. I sat my MacBook on it, and it's completely at eye level right now. I mean, I am sitting up straight, not moving my back for once, and we're at eye level. I'm looking straight at my eyesight camera, straight at my screen. So that's one of the things that ended up working for me, and I really like it. Like I said, I'm, I already took a couple pictures of it. I'll probably go ahead and take a couple more showing you exactly what I did, and I'll put them at the end of this. And the second thing, so many people go out, and they, they go out and they spend a lot of money on these little, like, microfiber things, like, you know, this little cleaning cloth that can, comes with your MacBook, you know? They go and they spend a lot on a big one that'll fit over the whole keyboard area inside of their MacBook for when they close it, take care of their keyboard, keep it nice and clean and in shape. Well, what I was thinking was, is another little thing, doesn't our MacBook come with one? When you get a MacBook, doesn't it come with something inside the screen? Yes, it does. It comes with this little bitty piece of cloth. It's not really cloth. It's kind of like a tiny little styrofoam, but it's nice and soft. And what I was thinking was is Apple is not going to put something that's going to scratch their screens up in between the keyboard and screen. So this is like probably the cheapest way, which I have a picture of this too, the cheapest way to keep your MacBook clean, keep it unscratched when you close it. So I think that's actually what I'll start using when I close my MacBook and set it down for the night or go to a friend's house and keep it in there to keep the dust from getting through the keys, get, keeping it from getting on the screen. So pretty much those are the two cheap things, cheap, easy, not too tacky things that I figured out what to do to save yourself about $90, about $70 to $90. And it saved me a bunch, and I think this is how I'll keep it. Now I can pretty much stick anything on this stand and not worry about damaging something that I've spent a lot of money on because it was free. Came with my MacBook, came right inside this box. Like I said, it was pretty much had a styrofoam piece on oops, on each side of this. One right there, one right there. Had this setting on top. And cheapest way to get by. So if you're watching this video and you have a refurbished Mac like Lisa, or like, I think it's uh, Apple Rocks My World. If one of you two, if you realize you want to stand for your MacBook while you're on your desk or anything, and you want a cheap way to get by, I would advise using the little styrofoam inserts. So that is pretty much my update slash tips for your MacBook. And soon I will be doing, I don't know if I'll do it tonight, or if I'm going to do it tomorrow, but I will be doing a review on the Apple Wireless Mighty Mouse I got. And, you know how, like in my last video, I said that the keyboard I got was broken. I fixed it. And I will tell you how in my review for the Apple Wireless Keyboard. I'm going to put up a couple pictures, some to show you the way I'm using the stand, and pretty much show you my setup with my new mouse and keyboard on my desk see where I'm working every day instead of just seeing my bed and look out for some new reviews so please rate comment and subscribe if you have any suggestions some that I can actually do please leave a comment down below PM me leave me a message of any sort you can check out my myspace 
follow me on Twitter. That would be awesome. If you want some exclusive content, just follow me on Twitter. Thank you. Peace. Love. Peace again. And you guys have a great night. All right. Thank you and bye.